love the fact that I get to walk through the art gallery every day. This this has been on my mind. Now let me let me show you this. So there's several pieces that are definitely geared toward uh, the, the nerd in all of us. Got Baby Yoda, Grogu, of course Master Yoda himself, R2 and Leia, and then just the great shot from Civil War, Captain America and Iron Man. But it really shows you that when people of a certain age have like real adult money, how the products tend to come their way, including art. I don't know how much those pieces go for, but I love the fact that the nerd culture is even in the cruise ship art museum or art gallery. So the other different thing that we're doing today is we're going to try to do our water shuttle from the sweet water shuttle area. My buddy Don is actually staying in a suite. He paid a, a decent amount for an upgrade and I don't know why we didn't investigate it yesterday, the sweet perk of Priority Water Shuttle, but, uh, well, we, we did investigate it yesterday, Don did, uh, after we came back, he got in touch with his concierge, and so apparently we're going to get some shuttle priority. The sweet, sweet folk can take a guess, so uh, I'm on the bonus plan today. 6.45 a.m. This is uh, certainly the earliest I've been up in a while, uh, but here's a look at the activity going on in the atrium. As you can tell, not a lot at the moment. Not a lot at the moment. We haven't even gotten the announcement that we're ready to go ashore. But again, our goal is to have the first shot at any any tours that are uh, unbooked. Oh, and here, here comes the man himself. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Tony. How are you, sir? I think we're early. We're early, yeah. How do you collect the water shuttle ticket from the Explorers Lounge on deck seven? The middle section of the ship and around approximately 45 minutes. Good morning. For our elite guests, kindly proceed to the priority lounge. Good morning. Good morning. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, uh, There's spots. All right, 7.16 a.m. We are on probably the first water shuttle, so we're going to get the first crack over there if there's any local tours to book, but... Uh, Looks like it's gonna be a clear day. A little chilly, but uh, beautiful at this point. All right, so we're just leaving the dock here. We did talk to one tour company operator. Spaces are limited and spaces are at a premium. Uh, $450 per person for a one hour iceberg tour. That could be the going rate, but I don't think we're gonna pop on 450. Uh, but there's another option. So we're trying to walk to a tour office in town to see uh, see what their prices are. All right, we've almost made our way into town and uh, a couple interesting things here. They do have a coffee shop and they have this big statue right in the middle of the town. Looks like, a, I guess it's a whale or part of a whale. So the, the guides from the Arctic Circle tours told us to come to this shop here to look for a boat tour and they had it. Uh, so we were able to book a rib boat tour, which is the small boat of the icebergs at 1 p.m. So we believe it's a one hour tour. It was $150 each. Now when we were on the pier, we heard this guy talking about a $450 tour and we, we scared us. Yeah, we mistakenly <laughs> thought that was an iceberg tour, but that was actually a full fjord face of the glacier tour. So we got some clarification. So uh, yeah, the, check there at the dock and, and see what you can get. But we were fortunate to come up into town and get, get this. So I'm excited. We got about five hours to kill, but. And 50% of the cost of the one on the ship. Yeah, so. it's cheaper than the ship, but it was it's risky and we had to get up early. So. Uh, 
I don't know. We're going to explore the town a bit. We're going to get acquainted with our dock. Uh, kind of see what the procedure is and how uh, how these rib boats look. How quick they go. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, I know these boats are made for lots of people, but the last thing I want to do is fall overboard trying to see an iceberg. I'm pretty sure that won't happen. Here's a nice look at the Caribbean princess and the iceberg this morning. Where do you say the gear is? Over there. There's the gear that we're going to be wearing in a little bit to keep us warm. And then uh, we're right next to one of the grocery stores here. And here's the grocery store exterior. The good and the bad thing about coming over early is certainly we found a spot on a tour, but not a lot's open. So we're uh, just walking the streets. There's a iconic church here, so we're gonna go take a look at that. So here's the church. And then right across from the church, you have Big Anchor, which does seem to be a consistent artifact in most of these seaside towns. And then this just looks like a whole other planet. Look at this landscape. Again, I guess we're just not used to being in these type of environments, but it has such a wild, distinctive look. With all these rock outcroppings and yeah, icebergs in the bay and just these little villages that are cropped up I would say primarily for fishing and of course this town has a huge tourism draw because you're essentially it's one of the only few places you can get you know fairly close to the ice fields at least in the southern part of Greenland in a manageable way. Wild. <laughs> There's a squawking bird up on the top of the church. Let's see what he's on about. Hello, bird. What are you doing? All right, it looks like the church is open, so let's take a let's take a peek inside. This is a very ornate church <laughs> to be just tucked on the seaside. Wow, beautiful. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool spot. I do see some people in the observation tower. I don't know if the observation tower is on the building or it's on the museum. I think. Yeah, I think it's on top. Yeah, Let's go check it out. So I have the museum this way and then this little observation tower. So one of the things we've been looking for in this town is this rock that looks like a face. And I think we just walked by it, but Don, Don's found it. So uh, check this out. It does look like a face. Good eye, Don. Good eye. There it is. It's like right next to the church. That's a cool image of the church and the face. By the face without missing it. <laughs> really digging how the it looks like the face is kind of looking at the church. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's pretty cool. 
See the paint on the rock? Yep. Side quest complete. I don't know how many XP points we got for that, but I feel like we should get some XP points for finding the face. And now I think we, we're back on the main quest to the observation. Well, the main quest is the iceberg. So I guess these are all side quests. So uh, side quest number two for 400 XP. I'm almost leveled up. 400 XP, uh, we're going to find this observation tower. How cool it would be to have your house and set up a little dock outside your house and just out to the water. What do you think, Don? Could you live in a town like this? I could. Yeah. I absolutely could. Yeah. Like I was just saying just over there where that base was, I said, I must be the most boring guy alive because I get excited by just rock outcroppings like that. Picturesque spots. Overlooking water. I could absolutely live here. It is beautiful and it, it's definitely a fishing town. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can smell the sea, you can smell the fish. We were talking to somebody on the tender right over and they said that the one of the reasons they paint these houses is so that the fishermen from a distance can have that glimpse of home when they're bringing in their catch. Sometimes, of course, the weather is inclement and not that clear and at least they can uh, see their house, which is a uh, kind of a neat sentiment. I hope I hope that's correct, but that's a pretty cool sentiment. So the observation point there is inside the open air museum. It's uh, 60 Danish kroner, 10 US dollars, 10 euro to get in, and uh, they do have a, they do accept credit cards, and they accept US dollars and euro. So yeah, I think we might check this out. Paid the 10 bucks, they give you a little wristband, and now we are uh, free to roam the grounds. Uh, I don't even know what we're looking at, but uh, I again, side quest, 400 experience points, observation tower. We can now get to it. I do think, or at least what I remember from the port presentation, is that these buildings are representative of the buildings that have been here over time. So we have like these stone buildings here, and of course some more modern wooden building. I don't know. Uh, just a cool place to walk around. Oh, 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 Caribbean princess, is that you over there? Hello. This open air museum is pretty vast. Uh, little houses that you can go into, but uh, I'm currently being captivated by the scenery. Wow. Got a winter house, so I feel like this is built into the land. And this is where they would actually winter. So this is pretty wild. Got to kind of get down a little bit. Get down, get down. Oh, wow. Look at this. So just a little bit of a longhouse type design so that when they do add heat here from fire that the whole place will stay warm. But yeah, built into the earth so it doesn't... Uh, Protect you from the winters. All right, so the time may be now to uh, to ascend at the observation tower. It does look empty at this point, so I'll make the quick ascent. Oh, I thought it was empty, but look, there's our hero. How's it up there, Don? Nice. Very nice. All right, I'm coming. Let's see what we're dealing with here. A little bit of a steep stairwell here. Since I fell climbing stairs yesterday, I think I'll I'll turn the camera off and see at the top. Can use Don as our example. That's how steep the decline is. Well done, sir. Well done. Made it. Yeah. So this this really does give you the a wonderful view of the port here. Wow. The church. 
the cruise ship and the tender service. And then as you look out to the fjord, you've got dotted icebergs everywhere. Really kind of a, an amazing spot to uh, take it all in. All right, side mission complete. Experience points gained. I really think I am close to leveling up, but uh, maybe by the end of the day. Oh wow, this looks cool. A lot of these kayaks are made with stretch seal skin. Here's a here's a look of, at the skin. And the frames. Let's see what's up here. Some of the guns used probably in hunting. Pelts. Another long boat here. More of a canoe Water than a also. kayak. It's really fascinating to see stuff preserved in this way, and it's really an excellent thing that stuff is preserved in this way. Uh, wow, who would have thought you'd come so far out to see stuff that's so far out? Pretty cool. Oh, wow. This looks like a tooling building. Big cask to hold stuff. This looks like possibly some sort of press there. Certainly a press here. Wow, look at this big, uh, I don't know what this is used for. Maybe a little whalebone there. Whalebone down here. The Greenland whales. Really interesting for sure. Wow. I think what makes this outdoor museum concept really special is because of the scenery here, there's a lot of opportunities to sit and take in the scenery. And they do a really great job of having benches uh, all, all over the place. So check this one out. They got that nice bench there and you can just look out over the water. And listen to us all. It's still nice. That's what I'm saying. So do you know what that uh, big contraption was in that last it, room? It looked like some sort of press. It was a blubber press. Ah. A blubber. Lubber press. How and you that? can see why it's so big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, come on now. Look at this spot. A little ship spotting. Caribbean princess hanging out with an iceberg. Wow. All right, I'll go ahead and say it. This is well worth the $10. We do have one more building to check out. Not sure if it's a gift shop or what, but uh, we'll take a peek. Sure, what? Maybe it's, I don't know if this is a gift shop or just another display. <laughs> yeah, it looks like another display.
Hmm. Interesting. All right, so it's uh, 9.10. I think we're gonna head back into the town a little bit and see if the coffee shop is open and uh, see what, what there is to explore. Looks like the town is starting to bustle a little bit at the nine o'clock hour. People coming in for their tours and to wander around. Not sure what all's open yet, but we're making our way to the visitor center and potentially the cafe. This is a great mural. I love the church framed in the ice iceberg. We've got the seal and the polar bear. So it looks like the cafe is still closed. And we got a little bit of a challenge. We still have three hours before our iceberg tour, but uh, we, we need to use the restroom. And so it doesn't seem like there's an abundance of public restrooms. We went into both grocery stores and they're saying that there's a public restroom back near where the water shuttles drop off. So we're, uh, we're making our way back and the flow of people continues to make their way to town. So we've made it back to the port. There is no obvious restroom. So uh, I don't know, we, we, we're getting our steps in uh, all for the sake of taking a bio break. So we've consulted our reliable source of information here at the pier, uh, the, the person that also turned us on to the tour, and well, uh, it appears <laughs> that this is not where the restroom is. Don, where's the restroom? It's back where we started, Tony. Apparently there's two of them. One in the tour where we booked our tour for the ice boat, and the other is at the museum, which we just spent a half hour walking around in. I didn't see any restrooms anywhere that we were at, so uh, the quest continues. All right, so we made it back to the shop where we bought our tour tickets, and there is a restroom, and a tad bit of a line. All right, so we still have a couple hours to kill. I think we're gonna pop into the grocery store. I saw some little kids walking around with a hot dog. I think that's where it came from. We'll check it out. Here's the grocery. There we go. Hmm. It's more like a sausage than a hot dog. Real crispy casing. I hadn't put ketchup in it, uh, but this, the, you had to see this bun. The whole thing's like a tube. It's like a tube for the hot dog. Very tubular. And it's closed off at the bottom, so it holds all the condiments inside. This, this turns out to be really good. The bread on the outside, it's almost like uh, crunchy, like a French baguette, but soft in the center. Mm. Well, excitingly, the time has come, and I believe that our boat has arrived. This looks like uh, this will be our ride to the icebergs. Which one is this one? This is the one o'clock boat that was purchased in the convenience shop. It's a moving dock, don't Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is a... Wow. <laughs> Thus begins our seven minute journey to the icebergs. Here we go. That may be the coldest boat ride I've ever taken, but uh, we are in the iceberg field now. Look at this. Wow. Oh, 
It's wonderful. It's very beautiful. I can take a picture of you behind the iceberg if you want to. Wow. So, I can take a picture behind. This is amazing. So the seven minute trip, basically just straight up the fjord. There's the, I don't know if you can see it all the way back there, but the Caribbean princess is just tucked back there. Wow. I think we're coming alongside so that we could touch it if we want. Wow. Look how close. Look how deep. Wow. I think I saw one of those folks on that boat try the ice, uh, said it tastes just like chicken. Just like chicken. Wow, oh, look at this. Look how deep it goes. Wow. We're gonna be able to touch it. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, there's a little part broken off here. Look at this. Do you want to touch it, Don? I'm okay. Oh. I got, I'm way up here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> There's room. Yeah. Be careful. There you go. Ooh! Don't break it. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wow. Wow, this is uh, amazing. Yeah, it's a blue. Look how much is underneath. Yeah, yeah. Look, 
the melting it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is something else. I guess I'm gonna say it every video. This is this is why you travel. You're not you're not gonna see this at your house. I'm pretty sure. Top of the world. It's amazing. All right, so you probably had 30 minute viewing out there, and uh, now we're in the inside cabin, taking a ride, <laughs> seven minute ride back. It's a little cold. It's a little cold. Yeah. It's cold steam warm, though, yeah. Instead of being outside in the wet. Somebody hit the button. So they stop right here. Yeah. But there's a ship. Yeah. We're trying to talk. I mean, the, just swinging over there. Like, I don't think. I don't think. So. What about that iceberg tour? Holy moly! I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I was gonna get for my one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, look, I'll I'll hold judgment till my euphoria wears off. But uh, right now I'm filled with a sense of waiting in line dread. Look at this queue for the tender. There's the tender boat, and there's a lot of you. Okay, well at least we can see the end of the line. Doesn't look like it stretches all the way into town, but that's the longest line I think we've seen yet. But uh, they're running like three tenders, so it, it's moving quick. But we're gonna make our way back to the ship and uh, we'll hit you with some final thoughts whether that excursion seemed like it was worth it. All right, so before we head back to the ship, we are gonna stop in the store. One more snack run, we got four days left at sea and I'm craving some snacks I already had. So uh, I'll show you the haul when we get back. Here's a look at the store. Looks like the cafe is open. I don't even know what time it is. Is it one o'clock, two o'clock? Two something. Two something. The cafe is open. Two five. We've definitely made a full day over here. The last uh, water shuttle or tender is 5 p.m., but I think we're making a break. I think we've done it all or enough. <laughs> no, yeah. Or enough. I, mean, I don't know. We read enough about two hours before our excursion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we stuck it out, though. We That's right. It out. And it was worth it. All right, we're about to enter the tail end of the queue. So uh, you can see in front of us the line of people. And then over there, you can see the tender. We'll do a quick time check, see how long this takes. All right, so we've entered the queue at uh, 210. So we've been in the queue for 50 minutes. Uh, we've made some progress. This is this is all we got left. It could be the excursion. <laughs> wow! Look at that. All right, uh, we are our cheery the leaps. It's about an hour ten. That's not horrible. I mean, it's been a great day. You can't really complain. I uh, do have this snacks to reveal and uh, answer the was it worth it question. All right, so it's 3.53 p.m. back on the cruise ship. What a crazy, crazy, interesting day here in Greenland. Let me show you the snacks. All right, first up the salty side. I got some uh, more of these bacon chips. These look similar to what I picked up in Iceland. So we'll try the Greenland version. I couldn't resist these bugles in the non-red bag. You know, of course, bugles are my favorite road snack. And then uh, Tofafe, uh, but spelled differently. And uh, they got me by the register. I don't know what this Nutella Be Ready is, but yeah, a little uh, savory and a little sweet for the next four days as we travel the seas back to Southampton. And well, was the iceberg tour worth it? Cause there's an the iceberg right there. Was it worth the 150 to go right up to the face of an iceberg, to touch an iceberg, to hold a chunk of an iceberg? 
Heck yeah. Heck yeah. $150 seems like money really well spent. Wow. Um, what an odyssey over the last two weeks or 10 days, whatever. Seven cruise port stops in the UK and Ireland and Iceland and Greenland. Uh, now four sea days ahead of us. I hope you've enjoyed this adventure. If you have, please hit the like button. Make sure you check out the recommended video next. This is Tony for La Lido. Look, until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.